So tonight, the FDA has just approved a groundbreaking treatment, a cure for sickle cell disease that uses gene editing technology, offering new hope to those suffering from debilitating blood disorder. Here's Rahima Ellis. The medical breakthrough focuses attention on a long overlooked genetic disorder affecting mostly African Americans suffering from an excruciatingly painful disease, sickle cell. The treatment called Casgevy is the first FDA approved medical use of the gene editing tool CRISPR and the beginning of a new era in medicine using this technology. It modifies the DNA in a patient's own stem cells so they no longer produce sickle cells which can cause health complications and can lead to an early death. Doctors call it transformative for nearly 100,000 people affected. I think it really will change the lands landscape of, uh, of science for sickle cell disease. I think it's going to open a lot of doors for a lot of patients. It's already changed Lorraine Morning's life. The 29-year-old first-year law student at American University's Washington College of Law was one of 46 patients involved in the clinical trial. Diagnosed at birth with sickle cell, doctors told her mother she might not live beyond 11. For most of her life, she says she suffered severe pain. It's consistent, it's sharp, and it, it's crippling. And that could be where, for example, on your body? I've had it in my knees, my arm, anywhere there's a joint. Now Lorraine runs and works out in the gym, things she always wanted to do but never could do before. It's changed your life. It's changed, yeah. You said it's given you life. It's given me life, yeah. Experts argue the cost puts it out of reach for many families. The price tag is $2.2 million, but it's likely insurance will cover at least some of it. And Rahim, a cure, what a powerful word we're talking about. Is this a one-time treatment or a series of treatments? Lester, technically it is a one-time procedure, but the entire process is arduous, lasting several months. And the young woman in our story said it was also painful. But when asked if she'd recommend this treatment to others suffering from sickle cell, she quickly said absolutely yes. Before the treatment, she was consumed with pain. Now her thoughts are all focused on her future, Lester. Terrific. All right, Rahima, thanks. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.